Okay, in this video I will go back to zinc bromine battery. And this is because I found some research paper with which I think that the zinc bromine battery can be a little bit better. So in the past I make many zinc bromine batteries and this is because the zinc bromine chemistry is some really interesting chemistry and the chemistry is also some part of my hyperflow battery project. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I found some research paper with which I think that uh, this kind of zinc bromine battery can be a little bit better. And the paper is this. A high energy efficiency static membrane free zinc bromine battery enabled by high concentration hybrid electrolyte. This research paper is not complete because if you want to have full access of this paper then of course you need to buy. But what I can see from this is that uh, the zinc bromine battery uses some high concentration of zinc bromide electrolyte. So actually uh, the battery will use 20 mol of zinc bromide electrolyte together with some additive which is some lithium chloride and actually why they use some high concentration of zinc bromide uh, electrolyte is because they want to reduce the self discharge of the battery because the cross diffusion of the bromide is effectively restricted by high viscosity of the electrolyte uh, so here if I click over here, I can also get a little bit more information. Also here you can see that uh, the battery from this research paper, uh, they also use this gravity cell design. Over here on the top is the zinc, here on the bottom is uh, the carbon, and the entire uh, housing is filled with the electrolyte. So the bottom uh, pictures uh, the cell uses two mole of zinc bromide and here the top pictures the cell uses 20 mole of zinc bromide together with 10 mole of lithium chloride uh, and now is the time to make my own version I mean at least I will try to make my own version and then I will see what I will get and over here I have all the parts which I need to make this zinc bromine battery. So over here I have the electrolyte which is made from 20 mol of zinc bromide electrolyte together with 10 mol of lithium chloride. Then here I have the housing. So on this acrylic tube I simply glue uh, only one piece of graph foil for the positive current collector and this uh, graph foil I glue on this acrylic tube with some epoxy glue. Uh, then here I have the zinc and here I have the activated carbon fat. Uh, and this will push this activated carbon fat to this uh, graph foil. And well, like I always do, first I will put this activated carbon felt into the electrolyte. So the electrolyte is feeling a little bit uh, like oil at this stage, I mean at this concentration.
feel less. Now I will fill the entire housing with the electrolyte. Okay, this will be enough. And for the last, the zinc electrode. Okay, this cell I will charge with 2.1 volts and 300 milliamps. So over here we can see that I get a lot of zinc dendrites, but I don't get too much bromine into this section. And now let's see what will be the voltage and the current uh, with this electrolyte. So first I will check the voltage and the voltage right now is 1.76 volts and now the current oh 500 almost 600 milliamps and for the last I will also put together some static zinc bromine battery with this high concentrated electrolyte. So remember that instead of making some uh, gravity cell design, you can always also make some static cell design with the same materials which can be used in some gravity cell design. Uh, so by this static cell design, uh, the uh, cell construction is a little bit different because in this static cell design you put the materials on top of each other. So here I have my uh, current collector which is made from graphite uh, plate. Here I have my um, activated carbon felt. This activated carbon felt I will put on this current collector and I will also wet this felt with this high concentrated electrolyte. Then on top I will put this separator. This separator is just normal uh, bamboo fiber kitchen uh, paper and on the top I will also put this zinc electrode and my basic uh, zinc bromine static cell is ready Okay, and now I will charge this cell for about 10 minutes and then I will see what I will get. Yeah, the active surface of this cell is 1 cm and half by 1 cm and half. This will be enough. And now let's see what I will get from this little static zinc bromine battery. So this time I get the voltage of 1.8 volts. And the current will be 2.4 amps. Really nice. So guys, that's it for now. 
this was the slow experiment with using this high concentrated uh, zinc bromide electrolyte together with some lithium chloride and yeah so we see us in the next video bye mm -hmm.